here at Grass Pop and I've got Pete and Josh here with me backstage at the festival. So um, actually I haven't actually grown, it's more like that. So um, just to start off with uh, guys, um, you're actually here at a festival and you've been playing a few shows around Europe at these big festivals. Do you actually enjoy playing at the events like this? I enjoy meeting fans, but that's the extent of it. Uh, this festival thing is truly not for me. <laughs> Why not? I'm a, a person who thrives on a schedule. And right. when you play festivals, you don't know when you'll be bathing again or showering again or able to make a phone call right. or what kind of creature they have killed that you'll be eating for catering. <laughs> So you like a little routine. And talking, talking of schedules, um, the actual album uh, took a lot longer to record than you anticipated, didn't it, Josh? You actually had to turn down some tours in America. Why did it take so long? Oh, because we're very bad players and we have to do a lot of takes over and over again to make sure it's right. I'm sorry, but I can't believe that. What Shit. happened? <laughs> we actually, we didn't even know the release date was September 2nd, so thank you for telling us. My pleasure. We had heard it was August 19th, but then again, the band is always the last to know, right. as you know. Well, I have checked, and it is the 2nd of September. So, um, you know, this was a very long process for you making this album. Um, is it akin to uh, giving birth with a long labor? Uh, it's like a an abortion, I would think, more than anything else. Not, not really a birth. And it's a very slow, painful process. Right. Yes. Okay. Because some of the songs on, on the new album, they're up to, like, 10 minutes long. Um, how was it to... Those are the dance mixes. Right, but <laughs> how was it to um, walk in that fine line between kind of being self-indulgent and making it work? Because it seems to me that a lot of the songs have songs within songs kind of things, a lot of different arrangements and whatnot. I think a lot of them are typical type or negative epics, you know, 10 minutes, five songs. We just make ourselves happy and whatever happens. Hanging out with the orb too much. <laughs> And if they could put out a single that long, well, we, well we, we figure we can do it too. Oh, absolutely. And if you make a 10-minute video, we play it, definitely. But, I mean, can you tell us a little bit about the songwriting process this time around? Was it any different to the previous albums? Did you, because you've done a lot of touring, must have made you a lot um, like tighter as a band, and you must have had a lot of momentum. That is true, too. The problem with songwriting on the road is being motivated mm -hmm. and finding subjects to write about. You know, sitting in the back of a tour bus for two years does not give one too much inspiration so I, I had to do some soul searching unfortunately I did not like what I found there so I searched the souls of others and stole <laughs> stole their ideas instead okay well we'll talk to the guys some more in just a moment and still to come uh, we've got the world premiere of the new uh, video from Sepultura Ratamahata so watch out for that but uh, right now we're gonna have some uh, more top metal meeting and uh, the marquee stage was headlined by typo negative and uh, i've still got the guys here and it's our first interview with them about the new album october rust and uh, going back to talking about um, the new songs pete i understand that some of them were kind of very spontaneous and immediate and some of them um, were ideas from your whole like musical career is that right that is quite true um our first single, our first video of this album, My Girlfriend's Girlfriend, was written in about five minutes in Josh's house while he had to go use the bathroom. <laughs> and I was sitting there and not in the mood to play with myself, so I played with a guitar instead and came up with this little stupid song and the band liked it and right. we went ahead and recorded it and it turned out to be the first single, strangely enough. Because right. you produced the album with the band, didn't you, um, Josh? How is it for you to kind of uh, that keep objective when you're working so closely together and there's not a third party there to give I give their kind of out their opinion I think it's the same thing because no matter what you're producing if you don't love it you should not be producing it so it really doesn't make a difference to me you're really happy with the with the way everything's turned out I am never happy I'm less miserable I like that I'm glad to hear you are less miserable because you should be very proud what I've heard I really really like um and I would say that it's a very sensual album, very epic, lots of kind of soundscapes. Um, is that a good description? I would say you hit the nail right on the head. Well, can we hear a bit more about it from you? Exactly what would you like to hear? <laughs> I mean, there, there are a lot of different things about the album, so we must focus in on one of them. Okay, well, uh, people in Europe haven't heard it yet, so what do you think of the, like, the two or three standout things about it? Well, I think it's more layered than our last album. The songs are a bit more, 
commercial, but I don't think that we sold out. Right. You know, I think think they're a bit more memorable. Mm -hmm. um, I think the packaging will be quite uh, beautiful as well. you've been looking more to your, your like pagan influences and what with the album titles is that how it all fits well, that's together true too you know I'm I'm not a big fan of uh, Christianity as you know Christ died for everyone's sins but mine so so he said in a dream <laughs> and so uh, so now I, I look towards my roots which are northern European Okay, so you're doing these uh, European festival dates, and then uh, is it back to America then? What happens next for you? Well, it'll be two months in America, and then probably a pretty extensive tour of Europe uh, later half of the year. Okay, well, thank you very much. I must uh, add, though, we're supposed to be playing Donington. Oh, uh, is that, is that I confirmed? forgot. That is confirmed. I beg your pardon. 17th of August, you're headlining the second stage All of Donington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you feel about playing at that festival? Because that be, is I'd the prestigious. Event. Yeah, we don't uh, get to go to England too often, so any any chance we have to go there, even to fly over England, is an honor. So so we can look down, and wave to Maggie. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Well, but I know it's a little early for a Christmas present. I found this. Well, you don't celebrate Christmas, do you? No, I, no, I don't. But I know that you're a Christian woman. <laughs> I, I found this rolled up in a ball under the bus in the mud, and I figured, you know, the Vanessa would look very, very nice in this. So I washed it by hand myself. Really? Um, yeah, this, this is from me to you. Wow. Well, do you know, funny you should give me this because I've actually been looking out for one of these Great. for a long time. So thank you very much for and that. If it, if it doesn't fit, it makes a nice rag to wipe the camera lens off with. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, um, that was very remiss of me to forget about Donington. So thank you for thank reminding you. me. And uh, we shall be talking to you there. So thanks very much. Lovely to see you guys and good luck with the new album and everything. And uh, in my day, you look beautiful today, as usual. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, coming from you, that's a major compliment. She says that to all the boys. <laughs> all right, well, that's it for tonight. Um, I'm going to see you next week uh, with all the festivities from the Kerrang! Heavy Metal Awards in London. So you can watch out for that next week. Uh, and we're finishing tonight uh, in a fantastic style because we've got the world premiere of the new video from Sepultura. And this is an animated video. Um, and it has been said that it's pretty scary, but I didn't find it so. So uh, we'll sign off from um, Grass Pop Metal Meeting and Typo Negative with uh, Sepultura, Rata Mahata, and watch out for Typo on stage at Donington. See ya next time. <laughs>